Hey there guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a flow with a webhook and save your data and respond to the user as per the status code. So let's get started. So now when you move to automation section right here and then there is flows section, click on there and you will get if you have any kind of flows, you will get a list of them and an edit option right here inside this. So we are going to start with adding a new flow. So add a flow. I'll be choosing um, appointment booking. You can choose any one of them and edit them. So right here, as you can see, there is uh, hope you are doing well. Welcome to ABC Corporation. I'll say as Wati Corporation. And then it will ask me what did you prefer for an appointment. And after that, it will uh, ask me about time then all the details which is needed that is phone number email date and time right here it will ask me to confirm and then it says thank you so much for reserving an appointment with abc corporation but right here how to book an appointment so first we'll start with adding the webhook which will directly send all the data of the user and book an appointment mockly and send a status code to the to Wati. So right here there is a webhook. Click in there and you will this box right here and then remove this and connect when they say yes with the webhook and connect the webhook with the message. And now double click on there. We'll add this later. First, we will be adding response routing. So right here, which kind of status we are expecting. So first, it will be 200 where we have uh, sent the data and the API has received it. Then another one is 400. And then there is 201. We can obviously swap this 201 and 400 then there is 404 and there is 204 which means that there is no content being sent so let's save this as per the status code we'll be messaging them so for 200 and 201 it will be same and for 400 and 204 there will be a same message so first click here send message and drag it and click here and click on message so right here we can for 400 and 4 we'll say sorry i wasn't send your data please try again later so this way we created a message and then we'll choose another message right here and this will be for 400 and 204 which says sorry i wasn't able to book an appointment please try again later all right so now it's time to connect this all so 400 will go here 404 will send this message and 204 will send this message so it's done and we'll change this to post and customize a body we'll be sending name phone number date and time let's add so for this phone number inside the inverted comma add at the rate and the variable name to find the variable name you you can definitely see it right here but if you want to check it you can directly go to that particular question click in there double click and there it will be saying saving it as a variable so right here you can see Click on cross and then you can have it right here. Number, then we'll be adding the email as at the rate email. Make sure to check for the spelling. If any spelling mistake, it won't be able to send the message properly. For the date, we'll be saying at the rate date. And for time, we'll be doing the same thing at the right time. So this way, we have to save this. 
you can definitely check all the details here and the details we are currently sending to our api the details we are going to send to our webhook before moving ahead make sure to save the flow and go right inside the automation part there you will be able to see uh, this all keywords which will follow a reply material which will be sent to the user so for that we have to add a keyword action so right here i have an appointment booking abc appointment so i'll change there this is a fuzzy matching you can obviously check for exact or contains you can add more if you want uh, let's say i want to book appointment with abc and save it just like this and go to the next step next step will be where you can add some text document image etc but we want right now to add flows so click right here we have multiple flows so make sure to select the correct one i'll be selecting general appointment booking 2 which is the current one which we edited so let's click on save so it has been saved the flow will be triggered when the user says something from this so now let's move on for writing the webhook okay so i am currently on PyCharm and we'll be writing a webhook for capturing all the data. So let's get started. I'm using Fast API and now adding app. Well, here we'll be using post and now the name for this webhook will be appointment booking and right here we'll be adding function which will book the appointment book appointment this will take the request as dictionary and response will be a response data type so this will be imported from fast api directly not from here make sure we check it with this <laughs> so right here first we'll be getting the email id so from the request we'll be getting email id as email and if there is an email then we'll proceed with the status so we have to import it to so make sure you import status and right here we'll be sending status as http 201 created And this will be sent inside the response. So response dot status code equals this. And else will be sending the response as 204. So response dot status code equals status dot 204. Just like this. And this way we have successfully created a mock appointment booking request. So now let's see if this works or not. Go to the terminal and right here we'll be starting our app. So 
for doing that i'll be using uvcon main app dash dash reload Oops. so it has started now it's time to start our ng rock server so for that we'll go to the command prompt and directly start it and grog http on 8000 port so right here you will get a link so copy this if you already have your own server make sure to use it and right in here go inside the flows and click on the flow which you have created and there inside the webhook I said we'll be adding this afterwards so now it's the time to add it and just after this you have to add the webhook name so for us it is appointment booking just like this and click on save and if you want to test your request you can definitely test it so right now to test it we have to add some changes so we'll be commenting this and right after this code will be returning as hello and let's see if this works test the request see it is working so hello and now click on save and we'll be removing this and uncommenting this section so now let's go to the whatsapp and test this flow so right here i'll be testing the flow so let's say appointment with abc which date would you prefer so let's say 4th september 2021 for choosing the time i'll say 4th and the number will be We'll say yes. And now it wasn't able to book an appointment. So let's see what happened on our webhook. It actually didn't reach it. Oh, we didn't click on save flow. So Make sure you save it before you use it. So now we'll try this again and appointment ABC. Fourth September 2021. We'll choose three. The number will be and say yes. And it has been created see uh, as soon as it was created it gave us the response as thank you so much for reserving an appointment with ABC corporation see you there
if you have any doubts make sure you add them into the comment section and give this video a like thanks for watching